All right, we're out at Super G with the new Hydra deck. Do some testing, see how it feels. Got some batteries charging right now. Over here. Some friends with us at the track. My girlfriend's here. Also, want to mention, I'm changing my gearing up a little bit. I'm running 88.18 right now. See how that feels. Hopefully, get a little bit more speed out of it. I was feeling a little bit slow, so we're gonna test that out and see how it goes. So, if you've never seen this car or any of my stuff on my channel, this started out as a YD2Z ready to run that I slowly upgraded um, electronics out of, and then I eventually put a Rhino Racing Shark chassis which is kind of the whole chassis setup it's on now. It's a conversion kit. Um, this is just a new deck to do some more tuning to that conversion. So it's, uh, like I said, it's a lot more flexible. Um, hopefully we're gonna get some, I mean, it already feels great. It feels way more grip than there was before. Some of these clips you can see, like I almost look like I can't get into drift enough. That's just cause I was timid and um, was afraid that I was going to spin out if I oversent it, but I wasn't able to really spin out that easily, so it worked out really well. The new gearing also felt really good. Um, it was a little weird at first. It got My motor got a lot hotter running it, but the way I was able to keep up with people and kind of tandem and stay with the group was really nice compared to some of the issues I've been having before. I was still running the stock gearing from the ready-to-run setup, um, with like almost no changes at all. So I think it definitely helped with the gear and changes over. One thing I think I'll consider doing is probably throwing a fan on there, especially since it's summer out and it's really hot right now. Um, I think that would help with the heat issue I'm having. I feel like this is where you can really see the gearing kind of helping because coming around here I used to either fall off the, the pace really badly right around these turns um, so I would overcompensate and cut them short but then I'd catch up to people so I'm just trying to figure out a good groove of staying wide and keeping you know close to people's doors. This track's really fun though, the new tile is really cool, um, the setup's starting to feel really great which is nice. If you've made it this far, I really appreciate you watching. Uh, consider subscribing, that'd mean a lot. And uh, yeah, there's some more driving coming. That guy was a bike on top of this. That's the coolest thing I've ever seen. That is the steesiest thing I've ever seen. So overall, I really like the way this chassis felt. Uh, it definitely feels more planted, which I think is because of the extra flex that there is in it. Um, but it just drove really nice. It just, you could throw it in the corners, just sit there. Like I said, I really didn't spin out like I had before, so that was a nice change. Just hanging out in the shop. Buddy's about to buy another car. So this is what he's going to be getting. It's a final form shark. This is one of the guys that works there's car. You honestly don't need any of this crazy stuff to have fun, but, you know, we're doing it all the time. It's just part of it, so I'm trying to enjoy it. So that's going to be it for driving footage of the Shark and with the new deck on it, the Hydra deck. Um, I appreciate you watching. I'm going to keep rolling some clips of some of the guys driving because I think they deserve it. They got some, that Steve, uh, one of the owners in the red car, I'm pretty sure he's doing some testing on some super secret stuff. So that's always cool. You never know what's going on there when you're driving late at night and you see some fancy cars out there. Um, but yeah, I know we had a ton of fun. Um, if you've never gotten into RC drifting, but you've seen some of these videos, you definitely should check it out. There's a lot of new shops and tracks opening like all across the U.S., which is super cool. Um, and I just see this side of RC growing. Just keep, it's just going to keep growing in the future. Um, for some reason, a lot of RC stuff seems like it's popping back off, and it's a good time to get into it. So don't wait too long. If you're thinking about it, try it. Um, ask for help. There's a lot of people that just really want to help and are really nice people. So yeah, give it a shot. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.
smooth. <laughs>